Okay, I'm now going to walk you through some of the properties of the Laplace transform. These are straight from the table on uh, page 213 of the text, uh, but it's probably worth uh, just going over a few of the important points. Uh, linearity is just as similar to in the Fourier transform. Essentially, if you're given two functions, x1 and x2, whose transforms are capital X1, capital X2, and uh, we have certain uh, for the region of convergence, which are defined over here for alpha beta, uh, is the region of convergence for X1 and of capital X1, and the region of convergence for capital X2 is alpha 2 less than beta 2, then the post condition is that the sum of the uh, time domains, the transform of the sum of the time domains is the sum of the transforms of the individual functions. And uh, we need to ensure, and the region of convergence for this combined uh, value over here is this region of, is this defined over here. So essentially, the S must be larger than the uh, larger of alpha one, one and alpha two, and it will be smaller than the smaller of beta one and beta two. So you can think of it as the intersection of these two intervals. Um, Time scaling and frequency scaling are similar to the Fourier case, where if you're going to essentially take xt and replace it by x of at, so it's a times faster, then the amplitude goes down by 1 over mod a, and the transform sort of slows down uh, by a value a. So if you go faster in time domain, you go slower in frequency domain. And then the region of convergence is a bit finicky, but this is what it's going to look like. It's going to be multiplied by A, uh, a on both sides. Uh, similarly, if you're doing frequency scaling, uh, which means if you're going to take the frequency and make it go faster, then on the time domain, you'll go slower and the amplitude will be lower. So you can think of it as uh, stretching in frequency domain corresponds to squeezing in the time domain. Uh, if you're going to time shift the signal, uh, to go from t to t minus t naught, then that corresponds to multiplying the e to the minus s t zero. And if you're doing frequency shifting, you're going to subtract s minus a, then uh, that corresponds to multiplying x by e to the a t. So again, this pops right out of the formula. This one is probably one of the most useful things to know, which says that the derivative, the nth derivative uh, of the time domain, t to the n x t by d t to the n, you are going to just multiply by s to the n uh, in the transform domain. So even if you need to take the you know, tenth derivative, it's no problem. Just multiply by s to the n, and you're done. So that's really quite helpful. Uh, similarly, integration says that if you want to compute the integral of xt with respect to, let's say, r, then you just divide by s. So that is uh, sort of symmetric to the derivative case. Uh, and then finally, this is the probably the one that's most useful. This is, where we, this is the reason why we're doing transforms in the first place. If you have two functions, x1 and x2, and yt is the convolution of these two values, x1 and x2, then the uh, product of the transforms is the uh, transform of the uh, it's a transform of yt. So in other words, you're going to use the same trick as you did before. So we, if you want to compute, if you want to compute yt, which we don't know, first we'll go from x1t to x1s. So compute the Laplace transform of x1t, compute the Laplace transform of x2t, multiply them, compute y of s, and then use the inverse transform for to get back to yt. So if you follow these steps, then we can compute the convolution of two uh, functions simply by uh, multiplying the transforms, computing the inverse transform. And so this is how we can use uh, Laplace transforms for solving systems, uh, for solving a, a control system. Uh, and uh, in, the, in the book, in, in, there's an example 522, which talks about how to use the convolution to solve the uh, solve the small system. Uh, you should take a look at that. But we will actually study this in much greater detail once you go into control theory. So I won't go into that over here.